Hey everybody, welcome to the Simply Straight Talk YouTube channel. Now this episode is called Workplace 101 because many of us work in different jobs and different corporations and you got different type of work environments. So today I just want to kind of discuss a work environment. I'm going to give you three signs that may be something that some people will see as red flags. It'll make some people say, ah, I don't think I want to work here and can also be very challenging for new employees or current employees who have different mindsets. Employees who come to jobs, want to work, want to learn, want to grow. They may find themselves really in a hard place if they work in jobs with the three red flags I'm going to tell you. And also, it's just difficult. It's just really difficult. So let's get into it. So if you encounter a job or your job has these three red flags, then you might be the type of person that's like, I need to find another job. You might be currently looking for another job or you might wake up in the morning like, crap, I got to go to this place. So let's jump right into it. Workplace 101. The first sign or red flag that a job may not be for you or you may struggle in their work environment if they have no foundation or structure for daily operations. I'm gonna check my notes so I can remember all this. But yeah, if they have no foundation or structure for daily operations, this is the type of organization that sort of makes up things as they go. So they're not really proactive, they're just sort of going with the flow on things. As things come up, they sort of like, okay, well, let's do it like this. Next week, they'll do it a totally different way. So that type of company can be really tough because a new person coming in is going to be under the mindset that, okay, this is how we do things. Two weeks or a month later, the same issue occurs or the same situation and all of a sudden it's, oh, no, 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 we don't do it like that. We do it like this. So it leads an employee to feel like they don't know their job and it also leads them to feel like, a lack of confidence. So that's why when you work at a job and there's no foundation or organization, organizational structure for daily operations on how you are to do your job, how tasks are to be completed, what is the expectations for your job, it can be very difficult. And we all know that uh, job requisitions, uh, you know, pretty much the job description that they give you are just really bland. And most companies do that because they don't want to lock you in to a certain thing. So once you get to the job, they can add certain tasks and duties or work days. But if they lock you in with a job description, you know, they can't really hold you accountable for other things. And then you can start asking for more money because it'll be out of your job description. So that's why. Companies who don't really have organizational structure for their daily operations or how things ought to be done are to be done can be very difficult to work for. It can be very confusing. It can create a stressful work environment because it can make a good employee who's confident and very a quick learner feel really confused about how to complete tasks. And they may feel like the management or the whoever's in charge may feel like they don't know what they're doing because they're gonna feel like I have to keep asking you because nothing stays the same. And they kind of want to step into their own, but they don't want to step on any toes. So anytime you work for a company to where they don't have, you know, good operational policies in place, it can be very challenging. So that's a red flag to be mindful about. Now, keep in mind, there are certain circumstances in jobs to where certain things may change as you go along. But for the basic fundamentals of the job you do, there should be daily operation to where certain tasks, you know how they're going to be completed. If say for your say payroll, if every year the job closes at a certain time, you should know how to enter that time. It should be standard. It shouldn't change every year. So there's just certain things that the company needs to ensure that the employees know how to do. Number two, a company that does not promote professional growth or even personal growth, but primarily for companies 
I believe that companies are responsible for providing professional growth opportunities for their employees. And companies who don't do that are normally companies who just want employees to come, be productive for the company, but not really for themselves. You know, they're not really prepping, prepping you to grow within the company. They're just expecting you to come, put in your eight hours and make whatever uh, task needs to be done completed so the company overall looks good. But a good company encourages professional growth within its employees. It wants its employees to be knowledgeable about different aspects of the company. And sometimes you find companies who are really interested in seeing their employees grow professionally, whether it's within the company or if they pursue opportunities elsewhere. They want to give their employees the opportunity to grow professionally, whether they are for online, free online courses, whether they uh, partner up with other entities who provide training, that, that these trainings are available to their employees. These are companies that are really giving you some tools that either you can grow with the company or outside of the company, but it's up to you to take advantage of it. So if you work for a company that is offering you professional growth or, prefer, or personal growth opportunities, that's a company that's looking to invest in its employees. So that might be some place you want to stick around. But like I say, it depends on the overall scope of the work environment. But if you do feel comfortable there and you're getting opportunities for growth and personal development, by all means, take it. Even if you uh, get those certificates, those certifications, you get that skill set, you can use any somewhere else. Be grateful that you have found a company that really does do that and take advantage of it. If you work for a company that does not encourage or promote professional or personal growth, most likely you're going to start to feel stuck at a certain point in time and you're going to start to feel behind in regards to your job, um, your job description. And you may talk to people from other companies who are doing certain things and you may be working on older systems where the company who encourages personal and professional growth may be training you on newer system, newer technology, newer skill sets in your job or in other areas. So that's something to be mindful. If you have a company that does not teach that, that's something or provides that, that can be a red flag because they're not interested or really investing in their employees. The company simply wants everybody to invest in itself. So keep that in mind. If the company does not promote or encourage personal and professional growth, that's a red flag. And the last one, employee set the workplace culture. This is a big one for me. I have worked at jobs to where my mindset is I like to learn. I like to grow. When I go to a job, I don't simply want to be a minimal uh, productive employee. I want to understand how things work and I want to look for ways to make things better. That's always how I've been. I've never been the type to just do a job and not want to learn. But when you get somebody who comes into a new work environment where the culture is, you know, look, we make good money. So don't come in here rocking the boat telling us to learn or train or do other things. We want to come here and do our personal stuff, be on the phone, be on Facebook, be on YouTube and not really have to do our job. You do have companies to where that has been the culture, that has been the norm. So an employee who comes in from somewhere else who has very strong work habits and really is interested in professional growth within that organization, they're going to struggle and they're going to find that they're going to get a lot of kickback from the current employees there because the current employees who have been there for a while, like I said, they have set the culture and the organization has allowed that culture to exist. So most likely there's going to be a high turnover of new employees, but the old employees will stay because they are used to being minimal productive employees and they're not trying to grow. They're not there for the company. They're not trying to benefit the organization. They're not trying to make sure that even their 
teammates and coworkers are learning and growing and doing things, they are simply there for them. Whatever money they get, that's all they care about. Whatever perks and benefits the company offers, that's all they care about. They don't care about the overall mission of the company. So like I said, the this is a red flag to a new employee coming in because if the company is not willing to change and acknowledge that this culture exists, new employees are going to be miserable because the other, the older employees are going to want them gone because they're going to feel that they're doing too much. And they may tell them, we don't do that. You know, they don't want people that's going to be proactive. You know, you're. You know, you're, you're too friendly with the customers. You shouldn't be stocking all that. You know, you don't have to do all those documents today. You don't have to finish that today. You don't have to walk around so much. That's what they're gonna tell them. Because basically, them coming in and setting a new standard of being proactive, actively doing their job, being visible, communicating with people, being professional, doing what they were hired to do, is sort of putting the spotlight on the fact that they aren't doing what they're supposed to do. So that per that new person is going to become the enemy of that organization, well, within that department, because they're not going to like them. And it's going to create a conflict. Now, you got two types of employees. The one good employee is going to say, he'll stay there and try to do it and see if he can make a difference. If he can't, the new employee, he or she, is probably just going to walk away and leave, which means that company just lost a great employee. And you'll find that the other employees, the older you know, uh, employees who are stuck in their mentality, will still be working there. The company is not getting the best production from it. And most times they don't realize it because management themselves may be caught up in that same mindset or management has tried to fight the battle and realize that it's a waste of time i'm just going to go with the flow and collect the check as well and we'll just call it a day which really sucks for the organization because up top is just sort of going along with the program as well but ultimately the clients the customers are the ones who suffer from that type of work mentality. But being as it is, those are three red flags you need to remember when you are looking for a job, you're working at a job, things you might want to consider. So I hope that was helpful. And if you got any thoughts or comments, you worked in one of these environments or you're familiar with these types of scenarios in the workplace, drop a comment down below. Don't forget and like and subscribe. See you next time. Simply stretch, simply stretch all.